First, though, a teen gunned down in Orlando tonight. Her accused killer is behind bars. Tonight, we're learning more arrests are on the way, too. Glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The 16-year-old caught in the middle of a gang fight. New 6's Troy Campbell is live at OPD headquarters tonight with new details on this investigation. Troy. Matt and Lisa, we spoke with the lead detective in this case. She says for weeks she has spent time here at Orlando Police Headquarters going over all of the evidence in the teen's murder. The victim's family says even with an arrest, they're still concerned about the ongoing gang violence. We buried her in a prince's gown, drove her to the graveyard in a horse and carriage. Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill describing how her family laid to rest her niece, 16-year-old Tavaya King. Orlando police say, with Detective Anne Marie Zahn at the helm, enough evidence was collected to arrest 18 year old Jacaria Simpson for third degree murder and first degree attempted murder. Officers responded to a vehicle shot at Wawa on North John Young Parkway in Silver Star Road in the early morning of May 2nd. Investigators adding they don't believe King was the target in the shooting that killed her, and Simpson had a full ride college football scholarship waiting for him in fall. Commissioner Hill says, while her family is hurting, so is Simpson's. It's up to us, the community, to start giving these young kids hope again, love again, unconditionally. Hill calling on more funding to create youth outreach programs after Detective Izan says the 16-year-old was killed because of a fight between two gangs, a problem linked to several other teen shooting deaths in recent months. Where children now are becoming accustomed to death, because they can wake up on a Monday morning and a friend or student that they love and know isn't there. Detective Izan says her work isn't done, adding more arrests will be made. However, those that do come forward, those are our heroes in this community. Detective Isan also says she doesn't believe that Simpson actually pulled the trigger and the actual shooter is still out there. She's making it very clear anyone who helps in this crime will also face serious charges. Simpson is in custody tonight without a bond. Live outside Orlando Police Headquarters, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy, thank you.